Hey there, greetings everyone. Gleecon here again, and strap in, because we are heading out into a new zone for this cool little mace I have. Uh, she's geared up, she's starting to get that male gear going on old Gleek and Soul here, because she finished Scarlet Monastery, she finished Desolus, she finished Razorfin Downs, and now we're going to do a kind of a mini zone. We might knock it out in one go, but this is cleaning up the Hillsbrad area with Alterac Mountains. Stay a while. And listen, now there are no technical or maybe one, either like in the, I'd say from zero to two Alterac Mountains quests for the Horde, but there are many that are based out of um, the Hillsbrad foothills here, Terran Mill, that are actually Alterac Mountains quests. And, and I kind of made an arbitrary cutoff. I probably should have started it sooner. So let's see what we have going on here. Now, first of all, <clears throat> in the in the banks here, we have Frostmall and the Crown of Will. So let's just make sure I tag those in the database. Pretty sure we did at the end of the last episode yesterday when we finished. Yeah, so Frostmall. Oops, we have that pickup for Frostmall and Crown of Will. Okay, so now we're going to hop right in and we're going to turn in the Crown of Will. What would you ask of death? You are sent by Shalindra. Very well then. You'll find I don't waste much time with idle chatter. Mugthon is an irritant. We'll deal with him quickly, thoroughly, without incident. Dark Lady Watcher. Okay, now Crown World Part 2. Mugthon and his Crushridge ogres have overrun the ruins of Alterac. It will be hard to inflict any serious punishment upon him without thinning out the ogres' numbers. After softening them up, we'll proceed. Understood. Good. Now go. Embrace the shadow. Cool. Okay, also Wanted Baron Vardis. By order of High Executor Darthalia, the human known as Baron Vardis is wanted for crimes against the Forsaken. Vardis is known to be a high-ranking member of the organization known as the Syndicate. He was last spotted in the uplands in the Alterac Mountains north of Terran Mill. He is wanted dead. Bring evidence of his demise to High Executor Darthalia to claim the reward. Cool, and there's one other quest, and this is pretty much just the quest line we're working on these it three. It is clear that Paranolda must be killed. His foulness removed from the world. His manor lies a ways to the north of here, on the shores of Lordamir Lake. Do your duty, adventurer. Then retrieve the pendant that the War Chief desires and return here. Okay, I will do that, I promise. Um... <laughs> All right, so also we have to kill Frostmall. We have to get the carcass, and then you bring it into this cave right here. So that's really an easy one. Um, we can probably head out and do that first. Uh, we have up around here somewhere, there's the head of Bar Baron Vardis. He spawns in that area, and Lord er Aladdin Paranold is right there. So before we do that, though, these Crushridge Maulers are a pain in the tuchus. So, um, and because that... Let's, let's look and just see what our quests look like, first of all. So, let's go back to, I've been working, I just finished the Green Hills of Stranglethorn line for the most part. I got all the chapters. All right, so we have this. We just picked up the Crown of Will Part 2. That's a five-part quest line. So I kind of, sort of, want to work on that one. Because I don't remember how every step goes. We also just picked up Baron Vardis. Okay, we got to open up that a little bit. That's a one-off. Um, and Lord Al Aladdin Paranold, which goes into Teratha's Gift, which I think that's just a one-off. So I'm pretty sure none of those are tied to each other, but I'm not 100% sure. So I kind of want to go do at least the first step of the... Um, the crown of will really it's the second step because i don't remember what the other steps are i'm pretty sure they just have us going back and forth up here this is also the annoying part this is the only thing that maybe will require us to bust things out okay i want to look at a couple other things too do we need to fish on this episode nope we're all good on fishing and what about our mace how's our mace looking because we might need to do some other two ended maces is up to 158 so we're a little low we're at like level 32 and we so we're 10 levels behind so it maybe is going to be better for us to at least go bust out this frost mall that'll help us a pinch i mean whatever you know what we'll go fight those crush ridge ogres i'm not going to change my mind based on that 
if we have to either die or run or whatever, that's just part of life of World of Warcraft. Um, being These guys are level 39. That's the other thing that makes it tough. Um, we are 42, and maybe we'll hit 43 and catch up to Old Gleek and Tessa while we're in the context or in the confines of this. There's a human warrior. Gross. Human warriors are gross. Okay, maybe I'll just fight this guy just for funsies. Okay, let's go ahead and get all my buffs going and see if I can continue to just work on my maces. I mean, maybe I probably... There you go, gain one more point. That's it. So, as you can see, right now fighting 30, uh, 36, we're fine. Our chance to hit's not doing us any favors. I'm actually not going to renew my lightning shield because I want to maximize the amounts of having it to bonk that guy in the head. Okay, so maybe fighting an elite will get a little bit more than that. We actually might have to kill some of these guys for a quest, or maybe we already did. I do, I do think there is a quest involved with that. All right, so this is killing 14 Crush Ridge Maulers. The Crush Ridge Maulers are basically the elite version of what we just fought. Uh, with those, I would say we're gonna use some totems. Here's the, there's a Crush Ridge Mauler right there. So I'm gonna pop a little heal for myself. Okay, I'm gonna set myself down. Let's start with, um, maybe I'm just gonna go, you know what? I'm gonna go pure offense and get the... And maybe with these guys... No, I'm not gonna use Lightning Shield. Well, fight me in the middle. I'm just gonna save mana, you know? I'm not even gonna use another Flame Shock. We're gonna... Okay, my Mace has now hit 160, so we're, we are 32. The problem is that we're gonna need... See, we're five levels below. So it's just going to be keeping an eye out on my potions and all that stuff. I feel like I'm at full. I should... Okay, oops, he, he interrupted me because he's a jerk. But I gained one more point, so I'm working as though I were level 33 now. Just keeping an eye on my totems. And this is going to be a slow war of attrition. There we go. We, we hit a crit, which when that happens, we then activate flurry. Okay, Flurry's off. I'm going to throw another heal. Drop that totem again. Ow. Yeah, so even this, the gaining of the maces is... Uh, there we go. We're at 162. This will go a little faster once... One, once our mace skill is up. And two, once... Um, I feel like that sounded like it was a crit, but maybe it wasn't. Yeah, because you'll see that we start to kind of more methodically get hits as we get closer and closer. It's not just that this character is so bad on the DPS. See, that sounds like him getting a good hit, not me. Jerk. There we go, that was a second crit. So it's really, I'm just relying on these crits. That was a nice one that triggered the... Whirlwind. Okay, so we're gonna redrop this. We're redropping our totems. Oh, he interrupted me when I was trying to drop that one. What a jerk. Got another crit. That's good. Should waste. And we're at 163. I wasted a big part of my flurry. So he's below half life. So we will win this war of attrition because he can't out damage me. Which is good. Not with all my buffs and my heals. And this is keeping my mana. We're up to 164. So we gained almost an entire. Oh, look, I swung as I fell. That was kind of cool. Guess I'll heal. There is also a, a way to do something that's like a slow stance dance power. Now, if he enters at low level, if he enters some kind of rage, that might hurt us. But I mean, with all the powers that we've devoted to... Oh yeah, I have this chance to hit also that I've recently upgraded. Alright, we finally hit 165, which is 33. So we are treated as though we were level 33, so we're 9 levels below now. Ow. Drop that anyway. 
level. But also, it means that we are only four levels below him. So again, that rate to hit should go up a little bit now, which should also help our things. I hope. There we go. Just hitting more and more often. That proc the thing, and now we're we gained a point there, so we are now working into being a level 34. We're gonna just let it kill out before I heal. Okay, so we got that guy. That was one. I know it seemed like it was a ridiculous amount of time. I'm gonna eat one of these to help my spirit also. But really, it's I'm I'm deliberately taking as much time as I can because I want to increase these two-handed maces. So these totems are gonna drop, and that's right. We have to kill 13 more of these guys. And it is what it is. Okay, as we eat this food here, that's gonna help us. Our spirit will increase. And look, our Wind Fury weapon's about to expire as well, so we'll go re reapply that. So there's another Crush Ridge Mauler. So again, we're gonna plop everything down. And hit homeboy with a fire. Miss. <laughs> just, just get things out. Let's get everything on the table right now. You're gonna, I'll, you'll be seeing a lot of missing, my friend. Um, and hopefully, you know, less as time goes on. Hey, there you go, 167. We're gaining, we're gaining. The goal would be to be level 210. Um, is that actually gonna happen anytime soon? That's tough to say. Now that spirit... There we go. No, that was him, not me. You can tell if it's me because I'll be surrounded by wind. Okay, bad luck on that. Let me go pop another one. But yeah, we've already taken over 30% of his life. And... Cool if we could increase our own power here. Alright, 168. So, closer and closer. We're rounding out being a level 34 with our hammer. Our mace. Which, that would mean we're only two, point, two levels below this guy, so... That's not... It's not really amazing, but it's pretty good. Like, that's... You can fight guys that are, are only two levels below. Alright. There you go, we just gained another point. Love it. Perfect in Schlagen. Alright, I think I'm not gonna redrop totems on this guy. I think we're gonna hit him with the lightning shield and wrap that up. Okay, got another one. Love it. Alright. Okay, mana a little bit low, but mana's not really a problem. Let's go get our third here. And pretty soon, probably in a couple more guys, I'm going to speed things up. Let's drop our totems. I still have some lightning. Also, we have upped our armor. Now that we wear mail, it's pretty solid. Like, we have 25% damage reduction because of that. It's pretty good. I just hit the... thought I hit a Wind Fury hit. Okay, I'm up to 170, so it's a full level 34. That's great, so now we are officially, like for instance, only two levels below this guy. That is great. And you can see already just what a difference that makes. Look how much faster we're killing him now that we are officially right in that two level range. I might not even have to do anything else other than just rock this guy. I mean, I might have got some lucky RNG. Carried me. He was just a jewel. Go ahead and throw a heal. This might be like, we don't even need to do, hit another totem. There we go, we gained one point. So now I'm gonna just, whatever. Now we're going in for the kill. Okay, so we didn't even have to replop totems, just those extra couple fights. I don't wanna fight that mage if I can avoid him. You can if you just. So now we get in here. Now we're gonna fight this guy. Drop our totems. Hit our magic. He he will crush us. He promises. Okay, so as long as we don't get unlucky with like a pat, if I watch my six there, should be okay. And yeah, 
we only gained one point. So we're working on being level 35. So we're still seven levels below where we should be. I gained another point there, so that's good. Mm, love it. See, now we are starting to just crush. We're crushing the crush ridge. Love that. Ow. And this is with. The, oh, he got me twice in a row. Okay, I'm scared, so this time I had to force stuff this behind. This is a little bit dicey. Ow, oh, man. I'm gonna have to drop another. That time I had a little bit bad luck on the RNG. The Wind Fury weapon is about to wear off. I gotta bust that up too. Good, got the flurry. Nice, gained another point. So good, this this fight was two point fight. They reapplied the Wind Fury. Cool. Oh yeah. And they don't run either, that's good. Okay, excellent. So four down, and we are we are we are crushing the crush ridge at a much greater pace now. So I'm gonna reapply my totems, and bring this fool into the fray. This will be our fifth one out of fourteen. But yeah, as you can see, this is not bad, especially since we're a little bit hardier. If you're a mage, uh, I'm trying to remember how this went. I'm pretty sure on my feral, this was fine. There's only a couple things where it's like. Oh, I got two flurries. Before my flurry was expired, I hit another flurry. So I guess that would be, like, perfect world. Look at that. Oof. Juicy. We gained one point also. I don't even know if I'm going to have to hit a, hit a heal up on this guy. I did not. Oh my gosh. That was good. See, she, her potential is good. For DPS, that's good. Alright, I don't want those mages. There's another molar. Let's just get that guy. Let's bring him over here to our kit. I did not want him to aggro that mage, did he? No. Alright, we're just going to keep him going on the same little collection because we did so well. So we have killed five. Okay, drop another mana. Just helps keep our mana going. Um, I've determined keeping the mana going is usually preferable. Maybe if I was a raid you'd want healing stream, but I almost never want it. I'd rather have mana spring going. You do the math like magic points to healing points make mana spikes better all right we've hit 175 so we are officially a level 35 with our axes i mean with our hammers pretty good so officially seven levels behind i have to use some magic on this guy okay, i'm gonna use some because there we go all right, so we have done six, and we are this this stack of totems we could probably get rid of. All right, so let's go find another stack, another place from which to fight. Again, we don't need the mages. There we go, got all the mana I could. If you're just not afraid, or if you have a mount or whatever, like this is not a bad place to come fight. There are plenty of things to do in this area. Like, plenty of mobs to fight. Alright, mana's a little low, so I'm going to be conservative a little more than I was. Alright, so I've now hit to 176, so I'm working as though I were a level 36. And I'm fighting level 37, so now I'm about one level lower. It's also going to be why these mace, these numbers are raising less quickly. Also, it tra the trade-off is that we're going to... Kill these fools faster. This guy is a mauler right there that... Yeah, I was gonna say, he might aggro. He is gonna aggro onto us, so... Yeah, I, need to, I just need to get this guy down fast. I was gonna say, I need to get that taken care of. In the meantime, I did gain one more point <coughs> on my um, level, so we're 177. 
I also... That was our halfway point. We killed seven of the 14. This will be our eighth. Yikes. I just gained a point of defense. Cool. So that was my first point of defense as a level 42 that I've gained. That's good, right? <laughs> there we go. Another mace. So So far, so good. Just trying to kind of decide, do I want to use a heal in the heat of the moment? No. Got him. Okay, we got some Mage Weave Cloth out of that. Just dropping another one of those and I'm going to sit here for a minute while I collect my wits. Let my mana come back up just for a sec without using... An official juice, although we have plenty. All right, eight of fourteen. We're at one seventy-eight. We only have six more, and as you can see, they are all over these maulers, and they're pretty easy. So you can, as long as you're above level like we are, and you don't have to worry about aggroing mages. And even if you did have to, um, it's really not that big a deal. Where do I want to go? So there's a couple right here. I could set up shop and fight a couple there. There's also a couple over here. I could work my way around that side. All right, let's go out. Let's go this way. I like the feel of this guy up here on this hill a little better. Like, this is less likely going to be hit by pats. So if I come fight this guy, and I need to reapply my fury weapon in just a sec. There we go. Okay. And the fight continues. The final six. So this is a little slower than it otherwise has to be. Now, there, I don't think there's too many other in this Crown of Will. This is the hard chain. The rest of the stuff is fine. What makes this a little bit trickier is... Um, we will eventually have to fight some elite guys. And I think one of them is... I think one's a beast. Like, maybe with some kiting and stuff. We maybe are going to be okay. I don't know. Like it's gonna be tough. But we're crushing this guy. Love that. And it was our ninth one. This guy's coming up right now. Uh, and he took one of my totems down. When did he take down this one? Now, I didn't hit him with a fire shock in the beginning, so that's going to slow us down. We are at 179, so we gained another point. To being that level 36. Nice, there we go. We just hit 180, so we are officially a maxed out level 36 with our little hammers. Which means now we are only one level behind these guys. I would imagine we're still going to kind of, at the same rate, gain points for a pinch more. Ow. He punched me. He punched me real good. Okay, let me drop some totems here. Because I like this place as a, as a base. I don't mind keeping it going. little dicey, but not that bad. I think we could probably beat him. Yeah, got him. Got him! <laughs> and we hit 181 right at the end, so now we're starting to work as though we were a level 37, which is what these guys are. Oh, this guy. This will be our 11th, so we're in the final four. And now he is 36, so now we are fully at... He's actually below level, which I wonder if that's going to really... Like, I wonder if we're even going to get a point. But now we're getting a hit advantage over him because of the two-handed maces skill level that we have. And as you can just see, that one level difference, like, we are crushing this dude. Let's drop this one. Ow. 
Uh, but yeah, the trade-off is I don't know that we're going to be getting any... Look. Oh, we did. We gained a skill point, so that's it. 182. Sweet. And I am popping a couple heals every time after, but it's okay. It's, you know, it goes par for the course of fighting at least. I like this base, though, so I want to pull more people over here. Mm, okay, I guess not. I don't see anybody really worth effort. So these little structures are where some of the elites we might have to fight are. There's a Mauler. Okay, this would be cool. If I, that's a mage. All right, I'll go over here. I just realized this whole time I've been dropping Wind Fury Totem. What an idiot I am. <laughs> so imagine what's going to happen now when I actually drop the right totem. This entire time I've been using Wind Fury Weapon and dropping Wind Fury Totem. What a ding dong I am. Now I've got Grace of Air Totem, which will increase my crit. Uh, I can't believe I've got it. All right, I'm up to 182, or I guess I already was. I don't know. That's where my maces are at. Well, it doesn't seem like I'm doing any better, but it could just be RNG. This guy's a 37, so it's going to feel a little bit less good than the last one. And this will be our 12th. We're only going to have two after this. Yeah, I'm going to have to throw a mid-fight heal on this one. And this is the, uh, yeah, this is what Ultrac Mountain's tip is basically for the Horde. You're wrapping up... In order to get the Paranold to not Tiara, you're wrapping up killing these ogres, elite ogres, who have taken over this area. Where we are right now is the ruins of Alterac. So when we read about this in the Warcraft 2 novel, there's some pretty cool stuff where um, Deathwing comes here and he gets, he gets, or maybe it's Deathwing's daughter, I can't remember which one, but... They convince Paranold to betray and join essentially to aid the Horde and become a traitor. Here's one guy, Glum Glumus. I think he's not a rare. I think he's a quest boss that will fight. Okay. Let's try it again. Pull this guy here. This will be our penultimate one, our 13th guy. We're at 183 on the maces. So, get there. Um, but yeah, so this is a pretty neat little area, and the Alliance and Horde both come here. It's kind of getting you ready for what you're going to do in Arathi. Look over at Arathi when you go to Jeromgard here. There's a lot. It, you're just not fighting. Oh, well, you actually are fighting some anchors in Stromgard. So, it's... It's got some stuff. We just hit 184 with our maces. That's all we really do as we slow kill these things. And again, I am normally I would also keep the lightning shield up and then worry about downtime. Keep some some flame shocks up. So there's ways you could absolutely speed this up, but my goal is twofold. It's not just to kill these mobs, it's while killing them, can I raise my weapon skills so that when we go to the harder challenges that's not a hindrance and is maybe even a boon to us. All right, we only have to kill one more guy. And at that point, we should be at level 37 with our mace. So at least these guys aren't really having a penalty. But we do have some more things we can kill in the meantime, too. Uh, we just want to find one that's conveniently located. Some of these on the outside maybe are going to have respawned by now. There's one right there. We'll go after him. Out there. I was going to say we can probably hit some on the way out, at least for the last one that we need. And we sure can. Guess I'll go over here and drop my totems. My well-fed buff is off, but that's okay. We'll, we'll wait. We'll re-up that when the next quest. We're going to run back and turn this in just to see, because I have a feeling she's going to be wanting, wanting us to come back here. Uh, for steps three and maybe four. We maybe will need help. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. There is a chance we will need help to finish this off. I mean, our girl's pretty solid, though. Glee can still... 
I'm 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 hopeful. I'm not, I'll always try it on my own unless I know, and I can't. I just can't quite remember. Okay, we finally hit 185, so we are a max flushed out level 37, and now working towards being level 38, which slowly happened. That was him critting me. Word of attrition coming down to the wire. Yikes. <laughs> that one did come down to the wire. Oh, show. Sure. Alright, I'm just going to heal once. And now we're going to get out of dodge and head back to Terran Mill. Okay, so we got some good, like, decent... But when I say good loot, I don't mean, like... I was going to say we got some good loot. And then, and then when I say that, I don't mean, like, any cool things. But, you know, we got... We, slow, we got a few Nectars, which that's beneficial for us. The next zone we're going to do after this is Alter Azarathi Highlands, and that will end this tier. Rathi Highlands is also heavily focused on fighting elites, and we will most likely need to form up a group to do those elites. Um, but we can form up a group and do a bunch of elites all in one go. Arathi is not that big a deal. If we look at our spreadsheet... Um, Rathi has a lot more, but really a big chunk of them are the pirate quest line, which are very easy. Um, and then there's the Mizrael quest line, very hard. And as the horde, there's the Troll Kalar quest line, which ties into some of these other ones. But there's a bunch in the beginning that are easy. But with the alliance, this is trickier. We could probably spam, but the wanted auto and falcon crest, that is. We're going to need help. That quest is a freaking beast. Uh, we are going to need to find a team for that one. That one's cray cray. So that one will probably just, once we get it, we'll start. Everything else we can we can kind of work our way through. And spin. I'm actually going to ditch that for now. Uh, everything else is fine. We should probably repair. We want to keep ourselves in good graces or whatever. All right, so let's tell the Banshee Melisara. I am the snow blooms red with the blood of the ogres, but we cannot cease our efforts until the spirits and numbers of the Cross Ridge have been crushed and ground into the dirt and snow. A victory for Hog, Muckrake, and Glamis are Mugthal's lieutenants. They are loyal to him, though who can say what drives an ogre to loyalty? Bring me their heads, Gleek and Soul, and then all that will remain is to remove Mugthal's head, crown and all. All right, so you saw the one um, that's actually not that tough. So now we completed step two and we're picking up step three. So Crown of Will step three, we're going to go back and do that right now too, because it's just killing three mobs and I already showed you the one. They're just slightly harder than the other mobs. We maybe will have to kill one or two guys as we fight our way in. Um, but this will actually be less time-consuming than the last one we just did, and really I don't think it's going to be much more difficult. We need a total of 37,000k to level up. I do think we can probably hit 43, which is where Gleek and Tessa already is. So Gleek and Soul has again started to slip behind a little bit, but she'll probably catch up in Arathi Highlands because there's a little bit more horde stuff there. And that will bring us to... That's the end of this tier. Once we finish Arathi Highlands, this tier is done. And the next tier begins with Swamp of Sorrows, which is fine. It's not tough. There's no real elite quests. Um, the Badlands will take us a little bit of time. There are some elite quests, but it's really, they're all tied into the exterior of Uldaman. So we'll be doing some grinding in that area. And then doing the Uldaman dungeon. There's a Yeti. Don't want to do that yet. Okay, I, I turned off the road too soon. And then Dustwallow Marsh actually is not very tough, and I don't... There's... For Horde, there's an elite quest at the end, and even that one, I can tell you right now for a fact, we're going to be fine um, doing it on the Shaman. And then Stranglethorn Vale, I can't... The jury's still out on that because that's a very long zone. I'm about halfway through it with my characters, uh, but I haven't um, I haven't hit the end, and the end is usually where the elites and toughs are in. 
And I am scared because there are some quests at the end that are the Blood Sail Buccaneers quest line. And I am scared when we have to get to a point in our lives where we... Okay, so this guy wants to fight. I thought that might happen. So we are going to fight him. Just because with the, every little bit of XP and leveling up of our weapon skill helps. I'll hit him with one of those two because that would be normally how I run the fight. Alright, so... Yep, just waiting. If I can get even one point on this that signifies my character's moving into the level 38 range. Great. Ow. As of right now? No. Oh my god, so what was this weapon that we got that was so cool? Mograine's Might. Yeah, that was cool. For, we got that from, from uh, Scarlet Monastery. That was a good dungeon for us. Pretty nice upgrade. And it, I'd say it's coming into his own. Oh my gosh. I did uh, that dungeon. When we did that yesterday, the Scarlet Monastery with the Alliance, that was the gear we got, the pants and the helmet that we got for Bleak, Bleak and Tessa. Oh my gosh. How juicy. Such a good. Alright, so I'm just trying to work my way around because I don't care about fighting these guys. We already know that in this house we saw the first dude. And there's not like pats or anything. So he seems to be just like a dude. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and eat another one of my... Some carrion. Delicious. Let's eat some carrion surprise. Because that'll one, max out my life. Two, give me that spirit buff. And then we're going to drop totems and bring Glomus out. He is a level 39. So... He's still three levels below us, so his hitting on us is going to be... We're going to be able to rebuff it when he hits on us. But I'm going to also go ahead and see he's back to parrying. Mace, Mace went up right there, so now we're, we're working on level 18. So we are treated as though he hit... Wow. Our melee attack power is reduced. Okay, let's see what happens if he has any kind of interrupt. No. He does bust us down hard. Okay, I might have to... He's a little bit more aggressive. So, I might have to hit him with the multiple offensive moves. There we go. At least there, at least just once. Yeah, he's getting this good. He's, he's just... He's coming at it harder. Drop this. Get him soon. I don't want to drop my my searing totem to help me. Yeah. Hit him with the stun. Ow! Yikes! He got me with a perfectly timed interrupt. Not good. I was gonna say I'm waiting for him to hit with that so I can get this off. I need to hit this war of attrition with him. That's toughy. Oof. Okay. Alright, we got that guy's head. And he gave us a double male quiff quaff. Which is worse than our helmet. Okay, so that was that one was tough. Um I don't want to eat regular food here, but I think I need to maybe do a drinky poo on that one. Should probably drop the mana spring totem too, but all right. So we got one of the three heads. I hope he was the toughest. If you read the quest, it says Targ, Muckrake, and Glamis, and he's listed third. Typically, that signifies he'd be the hardest one. He hit hard, he was worth, and with the rested XP, he was worth almost 1,000 XP, too, so. 
Um, I did mess around and I did not gain any extra. I just gained that one point in the beginning. So usually these structures are where we're going to find our dudes. So in the second structure seems to be where our next guy's at. A little bit hesitant. I don't know if I'm going to draw flippers on the way in. Probably. I don't see any. All right, so here's our next guy, and he's just chilling. He's going to let us do everything we need to do. He is not. He is harder. He is a level 40. So we are going to be... I'm going to be coming after him as hard as I can. I'm not going to mess around. The last guy was hard enough. I know not to mess around. Okay, but now his spear seems to be hitting less hard. So that's encouraging. I've gained another point on my two-handed maces as well. Okay, no more offensive spells. Now it's got to be all War of Attrition stuff. Okay, but maybe not because now I've got him pretty low. I'm going to hit him right in his Audi belly button. He tried to kick me. That was good. So going full offense on that guy did benefit us. That was nice. Okay, so I'm going to just kind of sit here for a moment and enjoy what my juices are here. <laughs> Let's open this up. <laughs> <laughs> I won't make you guys watch me enjoy my juices anymore. Alright, we got a Moonstone and we got some regular mana potions. Who needs those? I don't, I don't even care about that. But I will take... I mean, even the lesser Moonstone, do we need that? I don't know. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's go find the last dude. So, Muckrake seemed to be harder. Let's see, where's, where's Targ at? He's in the last building. He's in one of these buildings on the way out. So, he's in this building. You can kind of see. Look, I'm near my totem through the wall. Gave me a little love. Oh, man. I want to do this without fighting if I can. Because fighting will be time-consuming. The reward. Oh, okay. I guess I'm fighting this guy now. I want to pull him a little bit. This is a mage. It should be a little easier because I can... There you go. I went to 188 on the maces, so... Getting closer and closer to filling out level... 38. I mean, that's also kind of why these guys were a little tough. We're, at, we're still operating at a deficit. I don't know if any... It doesn't seem like the ogres run. Not these ones, anyway. I know there are some... Canonically, there are some cowardly ogres. But not these guys. Alright, so this this honestly hasn't been too tough. I don't remember this giving me any problems either when I did this on uh, my, my Feral Druid. My Feral Druid's pure DPS. Okay, so this guy's an axe wielder. He's level 41, so it's actually reverse. He's he's the hardest. Not that was lame. Okay. He's hitting me with a cleave. Ow. And he hit me with that thunderclap. Okay. Probably should have waited a little bit. Maybe I'm gonna drink one of my mana potions right now. Don't know if that's the wisest thing I've ever done. He's hitting hard. Okay, but he doesn't seem to have an interrupt or anything. So maybe if I just keep going with these heals, I can get going on that? I don't know. This guy's tough. I should hit one of those totems too. I should be going all four totems. I used that potion because I thought maybe it would be okay. I don't know if that's going to work, though. Okay. 
doesn't seem... I just need to keep all my totems up and keep my heals going. Yikes, this is not good. Okay, mana's getting low. Yikes, yikes, yikes. I'm trying to live until my... Um, my, po my potion cooldown comes off. So I can get a little help there. I don't think I'm gonna make it. I don't think I'm gonna make it, guys. I need to survive 30 more seconds. I don't, I'm not gonna make it. Yep. I'm gonna just release. I'm not gonna reincarnate because if I reincarnate, I'm. It's it's not that much of a benefit in this particular situation. I'm not having to worry about fighting through mobs. All right, so I got to get myself up. I didn't realize this guy was going to be straight up the toughest one. Um, I don't. I should be using my intellect because that's going to give me definitely one of my two stamina scrolls. I don't want to waste my agility one yet. I guess it's not a waste if I do it. What else am I going to wait on? All right, so let me... I'll buff myself up with those things. So we will use... Oh, do I need... Can I increase this? Well, I already have that. This is a 24. Oh, I forgot. She's a... She's a leather worker, so I already have... All right, so we'll try now. Also, I'll, I'll, I'll drop that Searing Totem. I'll make sure I am... Good to go. Like, that was all not started in an ideal manner. There's definite ways we can do that one better. Starting with, I could probably set up outside of his house and pull him out into whatever little base I have. How are we doing on time for this record? We're doing fine. See, it, I mean, it seems like it, the other ones are going to be much quicker when we do the. This is this is the tough quest line. This crown of will. Um, this is the third part. The fourth part is killing this other guy. I think he can be hard, but I also think he pats out of this big building. He's in one of these big buildings. I think it's this one, and I really think if you can catch him when he's in the middle of a pat cycle, it's actually pretty dang easy. All right, so. This guy lives here. We just need to get him. So what I meant was, I could probably pull... Look, this guy's over here. Alright, so first off, we're going to eat some carrion surprise. Get that going good. Uh, then we are going to see this is a good time. I'm gonna drop this here. I do not want these guys to come mess with me though. So there that's 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 one of the guys we're gonna need. This uh Grelborg the Miser. He's I, I think he's the one we need for the next Boss. Search this rubble. See, we need him gone. Don't want him right there. I want to pull... I want to make a base over here. And then pull these dudes to it. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to set up our base. Set that up right there. I'm going to try my best to pull this guy. I'm going to pull him out back to my base. Okay. And now we're going to fight Targ over here. Will it work? I don't know. These guys, I do not like them. 
Oh, I just... That's terrible. I need to get out of here. Yup, I gotta go. Okay, so this is a bad base. This is a bad... I'm good. This time I might really die. This was a terrible, terrible, terrible pull. Gagnabbit. Terrible. Everything wrong. I'm gonna reincarnate because I'm lazy now. Let's try pulling it on this side. Butt cheeks. Butt cheeks supreme. It's a good thing I did not use my scrolls because that would have sucked. Alright. Got a drink too. This time I'm gonna use my scrolls. <laughs> We're going to do the same idea. I don't think it's flawed. I don't think my idea was flawed. I just pulled them to an area where I did not realize dudes would be coming back in that graveyard. That's terrible. Okay. So. Get this going right here. This can last, and this can last, so we can get those two going. Meanwhile, I will drain- I'll use this intellect, stamina, and agility. So now we have a little bit of time worked out. Okay, I also- we're gonna drop these two. Now, we can get some time out of this, or- I really- I don't want to drink the whole other one. I want that mana back up, as full as I can possibly get it. This guy's tough. Okay, put my cooldowns off. Good on that. There's that miser again. He's gonna wreck my. His pat is what's gonna mess this up. Hmm. Okay, that's it. I just do not want him stopping right now. Good. Okay, so now we're within everything. I'm gonna drop this now too. I'm just trying to get everything that I can get. Ow. Okay. I'm gonna swing it down to a war of attrition. Use this potion. Let's get the cooldown on that going. Okay, now it's a matter of yeah, it's gotta be war of attrition at this point. Gosh, this dude. I'm up to 190 now, so I've maxed out whatever it is, 38. What just dropped? Oh, those two damaging ones. I'm gonna switch over to a defensive totem to help me with the War of Attrition here. I like this Searing Totem, it's good for helping me out with that. Because then at least I'm still consistently getting some kind of damage. Oh no! Of course! You've got to be kidding me. Really? Okay, so that's terrible. That sucks. Well, at least I didn't die. Probably. Come on, bro. Okay, so he reset. Alright, so I gotta fight him inside his house. That's the only way this is gonna work. Lame.
That guy just came over there and took the grave moss. He doesn't know if I wanted that or not. What a jerk. Alright, so now I gotta go back in there and try this guy again. Yeah, there's no pre-setting up. I have to do it. So we'll, we will preset this up. Can at least get those two because there's for five minutes. That's not really about to wear off. See, this guy, I could beat him easier when we have to actually beat Railborg the Miser. That's going to be easier than fighting this level 41 dude. He's rough. That guy's going to aggro onto me. i got to be patient. This guy sucks. Go back. Right on. Okay. I'm going to go with the defense this time. Okay. And that's it. I'm going to do just War of Attrition the entire time. Just keep those ones that I have going on. I'm going to keep this defense going. Keep my searing totems going. Start this healing potion going like now. Yeah, let's get that so the timer will be ready to go. To keep track of my totems. There we go. We got a point on that. So that's good. Okay, got to get a heal off because my gun is about to be mad. It was. So I had a little bit of wasted downtime there. I think this is a better idea with the defensive totem. It seems to be helping. Yeah, this is helping out with my war of attrition. This is a this is a much better plan. Instead of going out all at offense against this guy. He resisted and it kind of like stopped him in his tracks for a second. Alright, let's get the man going. Okay, because we got him down to halfway and we are still Driving, really. We're halfway through our potion and stomp cooldowns, and we're still doing quite well. I mean, these potions and everything are, I'm sure, are not hurting. Okay. Drop that searing totem. Yeah, I don't even remember what. Yeah, I'm just working on this chance to hit. That's what just got to make sure I appropriately, see when he hits with that, it's done. A little, I got to be ready for this. Okay. Just waiting for my totems to re needed to be rebuffed before I throw this heal. And my, we're 12 seconds off of the potion cooldown. Yep, right. Hit me in the face again, you jerk. So this is definitely a battle of attrition that it's not a zero-sum game. Like, if this went on forever, he would win. But, based on what we're currently working with, not the case. We're doing good. Our maces went up another point. Now I think we are sitting there. There we go. Okay. So it took us third times the charm, literally this time. Um, it took us a couple, took me a couple tries to figure that one out, to switch over and realize the limitations of this character. Um, in a situation like that, when you're going. Full bore. Again, there's girl Bark the Miser. We're going to keep an eye out on that guy. Oh, man. Come on. Yikes. A bit of a reckless way for me to run. But that is what it is. It's okay. So far, we're, we're surviving. Alright, so 192 puts us into 
39 range. So we're still... Yeah, we're not out of the woods yet. But yeah, we're treated as though we were level 39. So that's not too bad. We're only... We're only three levels below where we actually are. It's not ideal. You're, that could equate to potentially, you know, potentially whole percentage point or more of chance to hit, maybe more so. Um, when you're under like that. So it's definitely something we want to keep working on. All right, let's look at our spreadsheet. So we're going to go turn in Crown of Will Part 3. Cool. And we're going to pick up Crown of Will Part 4, which does task us with... Um, actually, before I click that, we need a few more. Which does task us, I think, with going to kill whatever they said the leader is. I think the final step is go back to uh, Undercity. So this is going to be the last... Peace. Pretty sure. So this time when we go up, we can go ahead and do our other other things as well. Here's the Merchant Supreme. He's actually good because he can do a repair. I got the best deals anywhere. We already know that. Yeah. Nothing spectacular for us. Alright, but we can there's nothing really. We gained a little pinch that we can sell, but Great not really a lot. But the more important thing was we could drop some of our money for sales. I mean, for repairs. What now? I want their heads console, and so not excuses. Time and I thought Ogre smelled foul enough to begin with. When you bring me Mugthol's head, I will have the four of them mounted on pikes above Alterac, a fitting monument to those who go against the Dark Lady's wishes. Remember. With Mugthol's lieutenants dead, all that remains is to kill Mugthol and retrieve the crown of will. I have no doubt he'll be reluctant to part with it, most likely expecting you to give him the departure of his fellows. Find Mugthor and deliver his head and the crown to me. Crushrid's resistance will be at an end. Now, okay, this is, yeah, so it's the Alliance that has to kill that guy, that padding guy, and has to kill uh, the other dude that makes it difficult. Um... So I feel like do I want to do we want it before or after? Mm. I mean, we can go ahead and mess around and do some of this other stuff right now first too. So let's 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 do the other pieces first because I don't think now I think that the last one is going to be like, hey, go to Undercity and tell the queen or whatever that you have the crown. So I don't really think we have to worry about anything. We can go get these other things just to get the XP. Because that could level us up to 43, and that extra level might make a difference. Also, we might get a little bit more points, and it's, if, I mean, we're already going to run out. We have, oh, oh, man, yeah. Or would it be better to keep these stats? Actually, now that I see that, maybe I want to be able to keep the 8 stamina, 9 agility, and 8 intel intellect. Okay. How strong? Mugful is a level 43 elite. I'll ask. Anyone want to kill the Crown of Will? So we'll see if there's any horde. I see plenty of alliance in the area. Maybe if I can get a partner, I think we'll be able to do it. It does not say Elite there, but it does say Elite when you look at the quest log. So that's a little glitch in Questy. What? Glitches in Questy? Could never happen. Alright, so... Let's check out and see. I mean, we might be able to take this guy on on our own. Not 100% sure. Dang it. Alright, so, fine. Yeah, these guys, we can go ahead and fight normally. Um, rather than doing anything reckless, we'll just slowly fight our way through. 
also you never know we might get an extra point or two for that, those maces okay stupid maulers might as well might as well hit him with something since the mana's full there you go that'll really do it Now I'll hit with the heal. Alright, so it's... I don't even know where this stinking guy is. So he's down there. He's not even on this part of the city. I don't care about that guy. Yeah, so he's not in here. I was wrong. Oh, he hit me with the crossbow. Okay, so he's over here. Alright, I guess I'm gonna have to kill this one. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna kill this mage, but it looks like he's in that castle. Wait, now, here's what I'm worried about. I wonder that... I wonder if there is... If he's gonna have an entourage. That's what scares me. Okay, I'll, I'll go... And we will put that in looking for group also, just to check it out. And luckily we have... So that's the girl Borg the Miser guy. Not necessary as part of this quest line. Pretty sure you need him for the Alliance version, so we'll be back. We will kill him one day. Saw that guy coming up out from behind. Okay, so we're gonna need to fight our way into this castle. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's probably mildly dangerous to fight right here because a pack could get us at any given time. Definitely a little bit of worry about that. We did gain one more point of our two-handed weapons. Every one of those things is a fraction of a point. Just keep watching the six in case... I, I guess we could have drawn him back in that room. It's really Girl Borg the Miser who could mess with us if he hats in and turns down this direction of the hallway. He could certainly give us... But he, he started his patrol out of the castle, so... He, as we saw uh, earlier when we were fighting Targ or whatever, he seems to go all the way out near the front, so. I'm gonna let these expire too, hopefully. Fine. Come on, dude. Got him. Okay. Do a heal. So there are, there is a dude there. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and re-up our potions and pull that guy. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're gonna pull two, so that's fine. As long as we keep these guys close, it should all be good. Yeah, I need to speed it up a little bit, so I'm gonna start using my mana. Get everything okay. Depending on when we get, if we get an ad, depending on when that occurs, that could really be a deadly switch for us. You hear people walking around, it's so, so sketch. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and eat some more of my carrion. That was my last carrion. What else do I have? Um, I have Turtle Bisque. I think it's my next weakest thing. We also have this Slumber Sand. 
So that's worth remembering. I have that slumber sand that I can put someone to sleep for 20 seconds. That is something we need to think about. Go ahead, drop a heal. Keep it moving. I don't believe he's downstairs. No. This guy is going to be an upstairs guy. Alright, so here we go. Another one of these. Yeah, we're gonna drop some a little bit more speed by hitting all these different initial this guy's 39. Because mm. these are warmongers, these aren't maulers, so this is a higher class of mob, of ogre. That's why it seems a little bit harder. They're up to 194, so we're almost at 39 maxed out on maces. One more point. Good. I mean, but again, we're going to be fighting level 43. That is already sketch right there. I wish we had Hex. I thought Hex was a shaman move. Maybe you just don't get it yet, but where we can essentially polymorph these guys. This is getting a little bit too close for comfort. There we go. Okay. Alright, so I do not like the setup right now. Seems like we're probably going to be fighting him. Now this is going to be a little bit worse. We're stuck. I can't. I, I don't really feel good about using my stuff. I guess I'll use some. Yeah, his. You really have to do that calculation. Like, hey, is it what's going to be better to sit here and try and do this war of attrition? I need to switch to that. Yeah. I mean, that's good. Get a couple in a row on the crits. That'll help. I really do think this stone skin totem helps quite a bit when you're fighting these heavy melees like this and you're trying to win that war of attrition. It really can help tip the scale the scales. Okay, Mace is at 195, so we are now a maxed out 39. Good. We're fighting this war of attrition. Okay. Good. Got a crit there. Also, the turtle bisque is a little better than my carrion, I believe. Oh, no, actually, I think it's the same. Same well-fed buff that you get from the carrion surprise. Okay. Gosh, come on. Come on, bro. Alright. Got that guy. I do not want to pull a guy yet. What I want to do is, yeah, see, that's two dudes. Yikes. All right. Okay, so we're going to drink some water or whatever it is, sweet nectar. I And then I'm going to look in that room, but I worry... I don't know. I don't think I can kill two of these guys if, I, if they get if they're tied together. And this one's level forty. They're tied together. I'm probably screwed. I'll ask the guild now because I'm already scared that this is not going to work out. The rest, everything else is going to be fine. This is the single quest that's going to. Potentially do me in. Okay, so I'm going to drop some totems. I'm going to stick with the defensive totem. Did, did we pull both? We sure did pull both. Okay. Alright, that was probably a waste. So I got to hit this guy. We got to hit him with everything we got. 
use some potions. Use this with a heal now. Ow. Okay. Come on, bro. I need a fast heal. Okay, so I got one. Now I'm probably screwed, yes, but now if I release the spirit and I come fast enough, maybe I can get that guy before the other one respawns. That's my only hope. person said I'm down, I just don't know if they were responding to me or if the other person probably responding to the buffs. This dome piece. Yeah, not to me. Okay. All right, so we're going to try this again and see what we can see. Now, it says you need his head and you need the crown. I'm pretty sure you get him from the same spot. Now, the problem is they're going to respawn moderately fast, so we're not going to get... We did lose all of our buffs, but that's fine. That's not a big deal. We, they were already getting low on time and a ton of them as it is. Okay, so. Um, might be a little bit screwed on this one. After this, I, I'm not going to get like too aggressive with uh, completing this quest. If someone comes and helps us, um, that'd be great. I'm not going to respawn out here. What I want to do is make my way into the castle, the top. See, those guys that we killed, they're already starting to respawn. So I'm worried that we're going to lose. Like, we have a very small window right now. So I'm going to go ahead and eat this turtle bisque again until I get well fed. I'll drink separately. Um, I mean, I could. We do have this stamina buff. I could try it one more time, but I don't even know what I'm getting into yet, so I'm not worried about that. Okay, so we need to open up with our initial... Actually, this for this guy I'm, I'm not as worried about. Okay, we're going to drop our totems, but like... He should not give us any problems, because he's just a dude. Just one warmonger, that is what it is. He's the lower level of the two. We killed the stronger one. I'm actually pretty happy that we were able to even kill that other one. Okay, and we're going to go as fast as we can. I'll drink water after. Just because, I again, we're, we're, we're fighting that respawn timer. Okay, so 
so we got that guy. No worries there. He's by himself. Now he is a 43 elite. So there is that to deal with. But he is by himself. Oh my gosh. Can we... What can I do about that? <laughs> can I... Can I... Uh, can we War of Attrition this dude down? So first of all... I say we want to go up there because we don't want to fight his mobs. Okay. So I, I want this back up. I want this back up. Probably should have worried about that before I drank. Um, okay. And that extra little mana might really be all the difference that it makes in the world. Okay. All right, here we go. I'm going to fight him up there because I don't want his mobs to go. Okay, so I want this. Okay, then we want... This. We're going for full War of Attrition on this guy. Can I fight Mugfall? Can we make it work? I'm going to use these full potions as hard as I can. And just keep going. With as much healing as I can. And I don't know. I don't know how it's going to work. He seems pretty tough. Seems a little more sketchy. And the last, let's back him up just a pinch. I don't want to get him just a little closer here. Okay. Seems like I can win the War of Attrition against this guy. Seems like it. Not 100% sure. He hits a little harder than the other guy does. But maybe. Just gotta make sure these totems stay good. I have a better mana potion if needed. I do have this mana potion right there that might be a little better if needed. We've got him below halfway. Okay. Okay. Or would it be better to have this health? I don't know. It's a tough call for me. Okay, it's about time to re-up on all my totems. That was close. What am I missing here? I'm missing my crit totem. I don't care about that, though. I can't worry about that right now. Yeah, I'm going to go with the health. So far, it seems okay. His mobs are not respawned yet. My little Searing Totem is just plugging away at his face. He's down to 800 life. So, 774. Yikes. Totems are getting pretty small. Okay, I'm gonna have to hit him with a stun soon. Yikes. Come on. Oh my gosh, I got him. <laughs> that was close. Got his head and the crown. Yikes. There maybe was some, like, mild pants pooping option. <laughs> oh, man, that was tough. All right, now I've got to escape and get out of here.
Hopefully there's some people like killing their way down. Sounds like there kind of is. Kinda like that. Oh dude, dang it. <laughs> dang it! Alright. Okay. Uh, let's see if I can war of attrition this guy. Whole different situation when it's um well he's easier. First of all, also, we did raise one point in two-handed maces after all of that. So we are now officially working as though we were a level 40. So that's cool, right? Oh, they call for help. I didn't even notice that. It's just... Lucky for us, no one's answering the call. Okay, we're, we gained another point just now. We're at 187. So we are being treated as a level 40, which considering we're level 42, that ain't too shabby. Now we're about to hit level 43. Okay, this war of attrition. It's, I mean, we're, we're slowly... We are making progress in it. Winning it is not in the bag yet, though. And that... that our stone skin totem is just clutch. Especially if you're fighting melee like this. Okay. Just trying to live, guys. That's all. Just one Torin trying to live, trying to do my trying to do my thing. We're up to two hundred eight on defense, so that's finishing out in the level forty two range. I need a target. All right, so. Gain a little bit more XP there. Oh no. Okay, I gotta run. Good, they're fighting. Someone's fighting him. Excellent. Uh, for me. Probably not for them because now I am... I don't know if they died. I don't know what the deal is. I might die. Ow. He's like enraged. Oh man. I'm gonna be dying for sure. Ah, why? I used the potion and I still died. Oh man. Alright, I do not want to take 10 minutes of res sickness because I think we are quicker than that, but that sucked. <laughs> Alright, so now I feel like with the durability we're at right now, we can still stay out here. I'm right there. We can do, we can do this. We can go kill our other ones while we're here. Uh, I really blew through quite a lot of potions on this. I'm going to switch over to maybe easier or start using some of these lower potions. Save. Try to catch up build back up my better potions because I'm down to like two. But that's good. I don't want to use this one either because I'm pretty sure we need a single mana potion for a quest in Badlands, so I'm trying to save at least one. Alright, now let's look. Now that we've done the hard stuff, yeah, we're at an hour and a half. That's fine. Because that was the that was the tough grind. Now I, I think it's a little harder for Alliance. Uh, we did manage to solo it, which is pretty impressive, but there's a couple things on the Alliance piece. If I'm... I might be actually remembering wrong. Maybe there's nothing harder. I think I'm con confusing this with, uh... Alterac. There's some stuff in Alterac that's pretty rough. I mean, not Alterac, Arathi. There's some stuff over in Arathi, some Stromguard stuff. That's... Pretty dang tough. Beards are more trendier than scuffed buff drops. Okay. The guy says, imagine growing a beard. The other person says, imagine not having a beard. Um, you know where I fall on the side of that to me? That's my mom. My mom, who is 
playing me in fantasy this week. Um, she has taken over the team of um, her long-term boyfriend. He's stepped out adjacent for me. She's taken over that uh, his fantasy team in the in the wake of his recent passing. And while she does enjoy a football game, I would say that technology and fantasy are probably uh, not her strength. So, what am I going to do? Let's. I guess we'll go do the these guys first. We can get a fresh carcass, but I think it starts a timer on us. You need fresh carcass from... Yeah, a hulking mountain lion. We'll get that on the way out. What we need is the head of Baron Vardis. He can spawn in a few different spots. The so Stronbrod, Stronbrod is one of the spots he can spawn. Um, so what you want is Baron. We want to have... Okay, so he's not targeting, which makes me think he's probably not in here. But one of the spots, we'll hit that one. That's the more annoying one to fight to, so we'll hit that one on the way back. He's more than likely he's down up in this valley. And at the end, we need to go here anyway because we need to hit Lord Aladdin, Lord Aladdin Paranold up at the end to kill. The Alliance has to do something at that house too. I think it's there's a, somebody you need to talk to if you're the Alliance. Or maybe you do that here. I don't know. All right, so this other guy, this Baron Vardis, you'll be able to tell because he'll be in like a camp, usually, and you can catch him by him, like you'll be able to tell he's kind of out there on his own. I do not see him. There's a hulking mountain lion. We'll get him on the way back because we want to take a, that is most likely going to start a timer, and so we'll wait until we're ready. So we look at all these different camps. All of these camps are potential spawn spots for the Baron. Saboteur, Saboteur, Shadow Mage. Yeah, see, I'm not target. He's not coming up just right now when I target. So we'll just continue to check the different spots. Make a macro. I basically essentially made a macro of my own. Shadow Mage. There he is right there. Alright, so we're gonna fight fart our way. We're gonna fight our way into this camp. But not with this guy following me. Just be not that we can't fight him. It's just unnecessary. Okay, so we have our buffs right there. We can go ahead and um I'm gonna add offense and mana, and we're just going to pull these guys in whatever batches we can. Okay, that Shadow Mage, we sh That's a Saboteur right there. I'd rather... I think I want to pull... See, they're, they're just regular dudes, so... Compared to what we've been fighting, it's like, oh, this is juicy. Alright, so now we're going to go after this guy, the Shadow Mage. And hit him with that so that he has to come out. He's already hurt. He's already hurting. And I'm going to pull this saboteur. Saboteur. Oh, he can shoot me. Let's see if I can at least LOS him at all. Some. Something. So at least I got him a little bit. See, a lot of the times this is the only thing. If you go to, to fight a, a physical damage ranged. Look, my two-handed maces just went up again. What a hate. That's good. I have a feeling the saboteur is going to run. Yeah. Because he seems like a runner to me. Alright, now we'll go after the Baron. I do not know. He looks like I was going to shoot him with the... The, uh... going to shoot him with the... With the flame shock, but he looked... Then I saw the staff and I was like, oh, he's probably a caster, little jerk. Okay, so. We got that guy 
So chopped off that dude's head. Just collecting a lot of heads over here. Okay, so now let's go get Paradol. He's a little bit tougher. I think he's a 42. And he's inside a house, so probably have to kill a couple guys to get to him, but he's not elite, so nothing to worry about. Uh, Baron Vardis can also spawn at that camp, and like I said, he can also spawn in that house, but if he does, that's way more annoying. So, I was hoping he didn't, and the macro didn't pick him up, and that's, that's why. Alright, Dandridge Fold. This is a syndicate farm. This is the outskirt farmlands where Paranold has decided to retreat to. Okay, so there's also a horde character. Oh, okay, there's a syndicate assassin. I'm not even gonna drop my totem. Level 38. I might hear a second assassin in the vicinity. Yeah, I'll save her frost in case she decides that she doesn't want to die for the cause. She didn't, but oh, there's another assassin joining the fray. Oh, I got another one. I'm gonna eat another one of my turtle bisques, I think, too. Oh, okay, so we're gonna eat one more soothing turtle bisque. And yeah, this is pretty good shape. We're gonna hit Frostmaw on the way back. This really. We were really, really in the home stretch. We killing those elite ogres was that was the tricky spot, and we did it. I'm, I'm, I'm proud. I'm proud of our little character here. That we so loaded all. All right. So if you come in here, so this time I am gonna drop some totems, as I can see already. We're gonna be pulling one or more. Oh, that's an enforcer. So he looks more like a melee arms warrior type. Okay, so we got the assassin. He's doing some kind of whirlwind move. There's not very many of these enforcers that you find if you look at it where you've got the the basically the defius head bandit style thing. But on the body model of a, of a heavy character Big shoulder pads, almost orc like. But then they've got the orange mask, which is actually a call out, callback to Warcraft 2. Wait, we're at 199, by the way. It's pretty cool. So that's Nagaz. He is a different, you can fight him. We don't need to. He's for a different quest. He's the Alliance version of this. Um, you want to fight? But anyway, if yeah, if when you're playing Warcraft 2, the color model on the uh, Arnold when he betrays you or whatever is orange. If you remember playing that game, so that's cool. That's a little throwback to that. All right, so here's a couple more dudes. I'm actually gonna drop trowel right here. <laughs> but assassin. Is they're both gonna come? A couple of, a couple. Oh, that's an enforcer. Okay. Now I'm gonna save the rest of my mana for the frost shock, so that they can't add any more trouble. At least for now. He tried to poison me. He just failed. Come on. I'm gonna go ahead and hit a heal on this too. And then right before we fight Paranold, I think um, it might be in our best interest to buff up just a, at least heal up a smidgen who. Okay, so she's she did not even have a chance. She died for the cause. Oh man. Okay, so Paranold's here to fight me. I'm gonna bring him down at least. Near my other totems, I did not. Okay, so I'm gonna heal since, since he's got himself invincible. Go ahead and heal. But he's obviously a paladin. Okay, so we, we got that into him. Um, man, 
minus low, but look, he's just a level 41, actually, not even a 42. Got that dude, we killed him. And then you actually turn it in right here, which here is Elisa. Who is Elisa? I don't know, let's see. No, no, please don't hurt me. I never meant your people any harm. He's had me against my will. Please, spare me. The pendant? Of course you can have it. Take it. I want no memory of him. Just please, please leave in peace. So, it's pretty good. Um, Safe travels. Let's go ahead and put that on the spreadsheet too. So we just completed Lord Aladdin Paranold. And then that actually opens up from her, Taratha's Gift. And that will give us some stuff that's a little bit below what we already are on right now. So we can get out of here. The only other thing we can do is get Frost Mall, which unfortunately we are going to have to go back to, Storm to Thunder Bluff for that. All right, so we're gonna go find a hulking dude. Not a dude, a hulking lion. Get that. That's next step. We need to get one of those fresh carcass meats. Um, there's one right there, a hulking mountain lion. So we're gonna go get, uh, no, I don't wanna fight you yet. I'm actually going the wrong way because I'm going back down the coast. Come on, get off me. All right, cool. All right, so here's a uh, walking mountain lion, which should, just like with the Jevra quest when you do this in the Barrens, yeah, it gives you the carcass right off the bat. Cool, cool. All right, so now we need to go take the carcass into that cave. Other than that, we're just heading back here, and then we're gonna have to go to Undercity, and then back to Thunder Bluff. Those are our two drop-offs, and then we will be 100% done. One, one episode. Just done uh, with all of Ultrak Mountains. I had a good feeling we would be able to knock this out in one go. And it's really because we spent so much time on um, Hillspread Foothills. So it's going to take us a few more minutes to just kill this Yeti, turn these quests in, and really the travel. We'll have to fly back to Under City, which is not super far away, but fly back most likely to turn in that quest and then. We can hearth to, or or even astral recall our way to uh, on Orgrimmar, but then we'll have to fly from Orgrimmar over to Thunder Bluff. And I'm not going to pick anything else up. Uh, we'll just save Thunder Bluff, and we'll we'll do the traveling and everything whenever we finish Alterac. It'll probably take us a couple episodes to do Alterac on Alliance, especially because we're going to take our time to make sure that we prove the nature of that one quest. So, that's something to consider. We're going to very meticulously do Alterac Mountains in, in a crazy way. You're actually going to... It'll be the one, one time we ever go through and do things the way that I would do them if I was playing this solo when I'm very methodically quest by quest testing the different grounds planning out in my mind oh well I should probably pair these quests together yada 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 so that's the kind of work that I put in not all the work I do on this show and you know I say work but I'm playing the game which this is what people do all the time um, it's the only thing I would say that it that makes it work or not is uh, I dedicate myself to it so regardless if I feel like this being the game I'm gonna play I'm gonna play this game at least a certain percentage of every day or you know it doesn't matter I'm gonna come out here unless I have a legitimate reason because of work to not play any games then I'm gonna put my you know time into this game because I'm dedicating to in the small way that I can, making this product as good as I can, and it can be a lot better for sure. All right, so we need to put it on that thing. What's our time on this carcass? Yeah, you have 30 total minutes. So I think you put it inside here. I think we can actually skin these guys too. Yeah, hitting us with the frost, but no, no worries. And, yeah, I don't know if we hit the 
full on 400 yet. Okay, so here I'm gonna drop totems. That guy's not even aggroing on. There he goes. Okay. I'm not gonna hit with any of the shocks, but I did drop all four. And I really don't think we're gonna need anything even from Frostmall. I think he's just a ridiculous buffoon. He's just one of these guys. Okay, so skin them both. One of my totems, they killed one of them. Okay, now we go ahead and we use the fresh carcass. And see, we put it on there and the great smell was savory unto the Lord. Why is it not allowing me to put that down? So I think he's going to come. Yeah, there he is. There's old Frosty Pants. Come on, bro. Come fight me in your cave. Come at me, bro. Come at me. And he's got a bone in his hand. So I... I mean, that's cool. Weapon of choice, bone. No judgment, Frostmall. I mean, I didn't work out very well for you. Died fairly easily. Yeah, so not a, not a tricky quest at all. These hunting quests they give you a Thunder Bluff are kind of anticlimactic. Like, it'd be cool if you fought some elite things that drop dopeness. Maybe you work your way up to that. But. Alright, so now it's a matter of going back to Terran Mill, turning in um, Baron Vardis, the. Crown of Will, Step 4, and Tarifa's Gift, and then they will send us, I believe, to the Undercity, and then um, we have to go turn that back up in front in Thunder Bluff. So pretty cool. Pretty, pretty good. Pretty good run here, and we did it all without any help. You know, sure, we are level 42, so it's not like we were... But I mean, some of that was it like we beat a level 43 Elite. At level 42. That was a tough one. That was a tough War of Attrition, and it was right up against the max of what this character would be capable of. Because we were close to dying. And actually, I would say, kind of harder fighting that other thing. But, you know, we learned, we lived and learned fighting that Targ guy, because that helped me realize it's actually better to drop the Stone Skin Totem if I'm going to do this long melee War of Attrition's like that. Heimdall. Uh, Heimdall in the Thor movie is like, actually in all of the Thor. Whopper Jr.? Oh my gosh. <laughs> that made me hungry. I'm gonna go eat lunch as soon as this is over. Alright, first of all, hey, Baron Vardis. Yeah. All day. Ah, Gleek and Soul. Perhaps you've come to collect the bounty on the head of Baron Vardis. Productive work you do, adventure. With Baron Vardis dead, the number of syndicate leaders grows smaller. Their resistance and irritation will be short-lived. Okay, so Baron Vardis dead. What is it? Three heads I have of all I need. It will be Mugthal's or it will be yours, Glee Console. That I promise. Remember. You have done your duty well, Glee Console. Mugthal's head shall adorn the highest peak of the ruins of Alterac, and the Death God will sweep the remnants of the Crush Ridge into the ground. Dark Lady Watcher. Oh. No, that's not as good as my Triune amulet. All that remains is to deliver the crown of will to Shalindra and the Undercity. It's actually a good DPS one, though. She will see to it that it is delivered to Lady Sylvanus. I would warn you against thinking to use it for your own purposes, Gleek and Soul. Mugthal's fate should be illustration right. enough. What, that I would come kill me? You've returned, Gleek and Soul. Success to report. It is strange that the War Chief would expend so much over such a small thing. I do not claim to understand him, but I will follow him, whatever his commands. You did well, adventurer. No doubt the War Chief will be glad to hear of your success. I leveled up. All right, so we're going to go get on the flight path now. I am awesome. We did it all, and at the very end, we dinged to level 43. We caught up to Glee Tessa. All right, so now we need to fly, like I said, to the Undercity to go turn it into that Banshee Lady. Where would you like to fly to? Undercity. 
All right, first let's get our new point. We want this, Nature's Guidance. After I get my third point on that, we're also going to switch over to Totemic Ma Mastery. That'll be the fourth one. And then, I don't know, we'll have to decide. I think Healing Focus is the one that I will eventually want, so I'll give like a point to that. And then... I'm on the fence about those. Increases the crit chance of your healing and lightning spells. No, I think I'd rather have restorative totems. Because the mana spring totem is going to be dope. That might actually be more useful. Healing focus might be. But actually I like restorative totems. That's fine. Alright, but either way. We have a couple where we're good. Alright, let's also work on this. So when we got to town. First thing we did was turn in. Wanted Baron Vadas. Cool, bro. Okay, check that box off. Alright, and then we did Crown of Will Part 4. Turn that one off. And that gave us Crown of Will Part 5 to go turn into the Undercity. And then we turned in Taratha's Gift. Cool. So we have to just turn in these two. So we have two. Dang it. Dang it, bro. We have two that we need to do. So we actually need one more box. And we can. I can tell you what it's going to be right now. It's going to be Crown of Will Part 5 we turn in. And then it's going to be finishing off by turning in Frost Mall. Might as well check it off right now. So we have no more spreadsheets to fool around with. Now what we can do when we're flying from Orgrimmar to Thunderbluff is we can start looking, getting a preview of what life will look like in... We have heavy, heavy, heavy mage we, we can make. I don't remember. We had to be 240. I think it's 260. I think at 260 you can learn, learn rune cloth bandages. But then I don't think you can learn heavy rune cloth until 290. Dang it, I jumped right in the water. Alright. Yeah, we're going down there. And then we're going to hearth right out of that area. For the last part of trickiness here. And I'm not worried about missing quests here because we're going to have to fly back here anyway. As we make our way back to... Um, Arathi. Arathi will be the next zone. That will be a couple days. So, you know, we'll do our typical couple days off where I do a Patreon tomorrow and then I do a shorty the day after. Um, so we'll start the process of all to rack. So Wednesday, Thursday, we should be wrapping. That should be all it takes us to do all to rack. So really next week on Friday, so five days from now, We'll be hitting up Arathi. I don't know which one I want to do first. We're going to check. I really should have done this one second because it is, this is actually a little harder than the Alliance. Yes. Do you have something to report? Victory for Silver. So this is the relic the ogre used to duck the will of the Dark Lady. Strange that something so simple could wield so great a power and to fall into as clumsy hands as those. Well done, Lee Console. I will deliver the crown to Lady Sylvanas and see that she hears the recovery. The oh, I'm glad that you are pleased with me. That's a make a man happy. Alright, so now we're hearthing. Actually, I should have just Astral Recall, but considering we're about to wrap the episode, it doesn't actually matter. We're going to go here to Boomstick Imports just to sell. Um, I don't think I need the lion meat. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of that, 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 and these are not needed. There. Okay, I can't start that yet. The Koto skin scroll. I think we can tro toss the Koto skin scroll eventually when we get there. I can make one heavy mage weave band bandaid. That's not gonna do anything. Just give me. Six silver. Pay for my flight to Thunder Bluff. 
and give me one point in first aid. All right, one last quest to turn in. And then what we're going to do as we fly is I guess we'll just kind of get a preview of what kind of quests we are going to need to pick up when we start Alterac. And we can also get a preview of what it will look like playing through the Alterac quest line. Just a little preview. You haven't lived until you've looked down on the world from the back. All right, so first of all, in Thunder Bluff where we're flying, there is Donation of Mage Weave, can't do it. And Deadmire is not till Duskwaller. So there are no Thunder Bluff quests that we have to worry about. Where we're leaving here in Orgrimmar, uh, there's Shadow Shard Fragments is Maraud on, Mage Weave Donation, Necklace Recovery and Ripple Recovery are not there, Feralis, Fallows in. All right, so we have no Orgrimmar quests. So the only quests we have to worry about are in well, we already have one, Crystal in the Mountains, that's a drop quest. And then other than that, it's Undercity. Lines of Communication is Hinterlands. We still need wool. Still need 21, 30, 31 wool. Tabitha's Task, no. Okay, Aaron for Apothecary Zinge. Pretty sure that is Ungoro Crater. And reclaim trigger treasures. So it's just this one to steal from thieves. When we go into Undercity, right before we get on that, to steal from thieves is the only one. That's an Alterac. I mean, that's an Arathi Highlands quest. So now let's look at what they actually look like. All right. So Arathi, we will have the call to arms. This is all of these are just like killing mobs near the area. We have this quest already ready to go. And then this is the beginning of the pirate stuff. And this is out there just killing Guile of the Raptor. All of that is just killing mobs in the area. Princess Trap, it starts off not too bad. We will have to go to Stranglethorn Vale to pick up the Trollbane quest line. So that's actually something we need to do too. So we're going to have to go to Gromgall and then take the... Zeppelin from Gromgall back to Undercity. So that's actually what we need to do because we've got to hit up Trollbane. That's that's one of the uh, challenging parts because everything else, Stones of Binding, that's part of her. That's not that hard to get. Called Arms, we can pick all those up. All of these pirates, that's easy. Um, there might be something we have to buy from an auction house. I can't quite remember. So all of this is mostly fine. Then it's when we start getting down here. Those two are okay. From about here on down, it's all elite stuff. We can actually do all of the elites of the... All of this stuff. Oh, I don't even have Waking the Princess on there. I think I forgot that, but I think I forgot to put it on there. Uh, because there should be... Let's... I need to look at, let's duplicate this and look at Alterac Mountain Quests because there should be, I don't know why that's being tricky. There should be, uh, I mean, Arathi. I keep saying Alterac, but it should be Arathi. Yeah, so if we look at this, so there's Death from Below. I forgot to do Summoning the Princess. So summoning the princess, I forgot to add it to the sheet. So let's add that to the sheet right now. I mean, it's so challenging compared to the others. It's a level 50 elite compared to death from below, which death from below, I don't even remember what, what that one is. Alrighty. So oof, oof, I can't walk. I don't really, we didn't get enough leather to need to do anything leather working wise. I don't believe. Um, yeah, I can make one heavy leather out of my medium. Can't even make any other. And then... have five so I would have six yeah even this the, yeah so gotcha six the hide 
Yeah, there's nothing really. There's nothing. I need a lot more stuff. I need hides. I need all kinds of stuff. All right, let's turn in this guy. Greetings, traveler. Have you been to the Alterac Mountains, Fleek and Soul? Did you face the elusive Frostmaw? Both strength and cunning were needed to find and defeat Frostmaw adventurer. That's you a good both. Like Your path feral druid. You to the valleys of Thousand Needles or Hunter. to the high mountains of Alterac. It will one day lead you through all the Earth Mother's lands, for such is the way of the hunter. Yeah, that's a decent. That's actually, I'd say, be, a be, best for hunters. Deadmire is an ancient. We're not going to do Deadmire. We'll, we'll read that later. All right, so we can also throw out this. We don't need the Koto skin scroll anymore. And I don't need that headdress. We'll just sell that later. I don't know why my life uh, from falling. All right, everybody. So we have done it. We have another episode of Hype Five by Five, and this is maybe the only time we've ever done this. We completed a one-shot zone. We have another zone. In the pipe, 5x5. Five five. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching, listening, and tuning in. And you will see me next time on Lore of Warcraft.